hello out there welcome to this tutorial the topic is sorts and uh, we'll be starting with simplification of sorts so we take our first problem simplify each of the following sorts into basic form um, we have a root 8 root 54 root 108 and root 245 to simplify each of them into basic form, we shall look at uh, each of them and see if there is a factor of the sorts that is a perfect square. A perfect square is a number whose square root is an integer. And of course, an integer is a positive or negative whole number. So we start with the first problem square root of 8 and uh, 8 is 4 times 2 and 4 is a perfect square so we shall express it as square root of uh, 4 times 2 so we now separate them into sorts that means square root of 4 times square root of 2 square root of 4 is 2 so we have it as 2 root 2 so square root of 4 is 2 we bring this root 2 this is the basic form of root 8 in sort form now we go to be part of the problem square root of 54 uh, the factor of 54 that is a perfect square is 9 so 9 times 6 is 54 so we express 64 as square root of 9 times 6 and then we separate them this is square root of 9 times square root of 6 square root of 9 is 3 so we have it as a 3 root 6 so the basic form of square root of 54 is 3 root 6 so we go to the c part of the problem square root of 108 square root of 108 um, divide this by 2 will give us uh, 54 54 divided by 3 will give us um, 36 yeah so 108 is 36 times 3 so we have it as square root of 36 times 3 so we have it as square root of 36 times square root of 3 square root of 36 is 6 so we have the result as 6 root 3 that is the basic form of square root of 108 then the d part of the problem square root of 245 we can go straight to see if we divide it by 5 will it give us a perfect square um, 5 here 49 yeah it gives a perfect square 245 is 49 times 5 so we have it as square root of 49 times 5 so we now have it as square root of 49 times square root of 5. Square root of 49 is 7. So we have the final result as 7 root 5. With this, we have done justice to problem 1. So we go to problem 2. For problem 2, express the following in their single sort forms. So this problem is the reverse process of problem 1. So we start with the first problem, 3 root 2. This is the same thing as 3 times root 2. And the uh, square root of 9 is 3. So we replace this 3 with square root of uh, 9, then times root 3. Since we have square root of 9 times square root of 2, we can just say 9 times 2 which is 18 and we have our answer as square root of uh, 18 
that's all then we go to b 4 root 3 will give us uh, 4 times root 3 square root of 16 is 4 so instead of 4 we said square root of 16 times square root of 3 so 16 times 3 gives 48 so if we, we have our answer as square root of uh, 48 so it is in the single sort form then we go to C part of the problem that will give us a uh, 2 times square root of 14 square root of 4 gives 2 so we have square root of 4 times square root of 14 so multiplying this we are going to have it as 4 times 14 will give us a 56 so our answer, final answer is square root of 56 finally we go to d part of the problem 5 root 13 is 5 times root 13 square root of 25 is 5 so we replace this 5 with square root of 25 then multiply by square root of 13 uh, multiplying them you can help yourself with calculator so we now have it as square root of 325 so we have expressed 5 root 13 in single sort form so that's the end of problem 2 and uh, for now we are saying goodbye until we come your way for addition and subtraction of sorts thanks for watching this video remember to subscribe to our youtube channel like and share this video goodbye